Alright, what's going on guys? This is Texture. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get better at sniping. Now, I was thinking about this video and I was thinking about how I should do it. We're going to go with no light tonight. Or today. Tonight. Whatever. I'm recording this at night. But as you guys are watching this, I should be streaming right now on YouTube. Uh, so if you guys are watching this video, make sure you guys just go to my page after this video. Once you guys are done, once you guys drop a like and... Check out my stream, come say hi, uh, I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare, uh, it's going to be a good good time. Now there's very different ways you can go about this and I'm going to give you guys my step by step and I'm going to tell you it's going to take a long time. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys how to hit clips, if you guys are new and you guys are just a casual player, a clip is like mm -hmm. something like this. Thank you. Now that's just like kind of a rough, like that's not a crazy clip. I'm not sure which one I put in, but I know I didn't put in something insane. I'm pretty much just going to tell you guys how to get better at sniping as a casual player. Um, I'm going to show you guys what what I did and what I've done to get to the point I am. Um, what had worked for me uh, back in Black Ops 3, which I know will work now. Um, I'm not really gonna tell you guys how to be the best sniper ever but it's just get better at what you're doing and it will elevate you in a way that uh you'll know where to be you'll know where to you know look at the map uh one thing you're gonna have to learn on your own that's very crucial is spawn spawns are like they're not very hard it's pretty much just looking at where your team is at and kind of seeing the opening and where they're gonna spawn especially on like a kind of like a medium-sized map like that's very important to position yourself in the right spots so on this map i like this map a lot um, drop some of the very small so i'm gonna tell you that and that it's kind of hard to See, like right now, I I assume they're spawning right there, just because if you look at the map up in the top left, you can see that there's openings. That, that's pretty easy to know. It's pretty easy to know, like, obviously when they're on the drop zone, it's red, and you're going to know where they're at. Now, Modern Warfare, it's a pretty um, slow-paced uh, sniping game, I would say. You can make it fast. I like to make it fast. I don't like to sit and wait. Um, I die a lot, and that's nothing to be, like, discouraged about. I'm at a point now where I'm not, like, slaving over clips uh, to the point where, where I stress out about, like, dying. Before, when I, like, two years ago, I would have been, like, freaking out because, like, a dying and like all that stuff but it's not that big a deal uh i'm still getting better like i'm still learning games and i'm still learning different ways i um i learn from other people i take inspiration and how to position themselves i'm a, i feel like a like a student on the game all the time and that's that's really because i enjoy it so much like i don't know just having a sniper in your hand is so fun after this game, I will show you guys my sniping class setup. Another big tip I would say is know your maps. Um, obviously, the maps are going to be where you're playing at. So, knowing your maps and knowing um, that's going to be crucial to also knowing spawns. Uh, even just doing this and looking at the map there uh, is a. Uh, I'll just finish talking. Knowing your maps is very crucial because you got to know the spawns you got to know where they're going uh to be uh lanes there's usually good lanes uh, highly populated lanes that people go towards uh less populated um you just kind of want to stay away unless you know that they're over there you see before you die whatever so i'm going to go through my uh, loadouts um just basically a lot of them are permanent, like I use it all the time and it's going to stay that way, but a lot of them I do switch because, like, 
you know, they, I, I want a certain clip or I want something like that. So the first one I start out with is my car and AX50 swap class. I don't have the AX50 very high in level because I don't use it very often. I want to start, but it's really slow when you don't have all the attachments. Uh, for my car, it's just gonna be pretty standard on all my cars. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but it's gonna look like this. Tack laser, sniper scope, f tac sport comb, uh, sleight of hand, and stippled grip tape. And on my X50 right now, I have a 17 factory barrel, sleight of hand, stippled grip tape, and a seven round mag. So there's a couple things I need to upgrade on that once I get it. Um, which I'm working slowly but surely towards. Uh, that's pretty much the same thing, I'm pretty sure. On my MK Carbine class, uh, TAC Laser, Variable Zoom, uh, Sport Comb, Sleight of Hand, Stipple Grip Tape. A lot of these are just to make it aim down the sights faster. Uh, I got a long arm TAC Laser Sniper Scope, like all that. This one I have FMJ on just to switch it up. It's a swap with the MK. And you can pause it if you need it. Over on this side, the stock is the sport cone. And then uh, just a regular long arm. And then I have um, the 50 GS on the bottom. It's pretty much standard. A lot of people use this stuff. Um, stem, very, very crucial. Uh, you get two stem shots. And then you pretty much, I catch myself using it all the time. Uh, when you're dying a lot, you don't really run out of them, in my opinion. I run out every once in a while, but I don't ever catch myself, like, being pissed off about this. And then the lethal doesn't really matter. Uh, perks do matter. Um, I run Quick Fix, Ghost, and Amp uh, on all, pretty much all of them, except for, like, my overkill classes. Gotta have the overkill. Um... I like Ghost. I don't even know what Point Man is, honestly. Turn your kill streaks into scorching. I'm gonna just switch it back to Ghost. So pretty much it's just Ghost and Amped and Quick Fix. For score streaks, I use Personal Radar, UAV, and Chopper Gunner. I really, if I get a Chopper Gunner, I do not use it. Um, I think I'm at a point where I can put on Advanced UAV. Uh, so that's my I didn't even know I was running that so that's good that I looked at it field upgrades I use tactical insertion. It's really 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 useful when you're when you just you know that they're gonna be there You have attack ready and you can have two shots pretty much at a clip or whatever now my biggest tip my biggest tip is a practice I every single day when I get on I play a private match it's usually a drop zone uh, or hard point or something that is really long like I'll get to like a thousand kills just before I get on and that really 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 elevates my game it elevated my game seriously so much like if you look at the black ops three days I really went from like being really bad to like being pretty decent but like better than the average sniper on the game and by no means is this video meaning that I'm the best sniper of all time um because I'm not, I know that I'm better than the average person, so like, if I can help people below me, that's real, that's nice. So if you guys are new and you found this video helpful in any way, make sure you guys drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be coming out with some new videos. 2020, I'm going to upload so, so, so much. I'm going to go for like 200 uploads or 250 at least. Um, I'm going to give myself no room for error. I want to do 300 videos. But I know that that would be very, very difficult. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys drop a comment. Drop a sub uh, on the channel. And yeah, this has been Texture. Or Owen. I'm out. Peace.